Hello Choppers and welcome to our Kickstarter preview for Blood Runes by Zach Turner. We have a game all set up for two players down here, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the game and how it plays, and we'll see you at the end. As you can see here, we've got everything set up. We got a green clan board for myself and a red clan board board for my opponent. Each one of these is on the plain side. They actually have uh, on the ability on the flip side if you turn it over, but we're just gonna uh, show the regular sides right now. Each player starts with three acolytes on their board, and these are how you keep track of what actions you do during the game. You'll move your acolyte up like that, and then at the end of your turn, you'll move all your acolytes back down to the circle. You also start off with five runes. I've got mine over there, and the red player has theirs. And you get these after you turn out three on the side of the board. Here's a stack of, uh, of runes for later on. As well as over here, you have three spells turned out, and each player starts with one spell in their spell book, just randomly uh, drawn at the beginning of the game. You also have the stack right here, so you keep it over there. You have to mention that you're only allowed to have six spells in your clan's spell book at any time. If you go over that, you have to discard down to six. Your spells in your spell book are public knowledge for the game, where your runes stay in your hand and stay private. On your player board, you also have a spot right here for any wards that you may play that ward you from other players so they can't steal your acolytes or your fortunes. And speaking of fortunes, you can see we have a stack of the fortune coins right here. And these are the purpose of the game. You want to get six of these fortunes and put them in the spots on your board. First player to six wins. We also have some extra acolytes of the red and green variety over here because you can gain and lose acolytes during the game. Ah, and I almost forgot one of the most important parts of the game, the rune board here that is in the middle. So you place that and you play across from each other if you have two players. If you have a third player, one will sit to the side and have no uh, player across from them. But on a four player game, you'll have one on each side of the board. You also draw a random rune from the top of the stack and put it in the middle of the board to begin. Now, the orientation of the runes on the board doesn't matter as much as where they are at. So this uh, F rune, or whatever you want to call it, um, could be facing, you know, this way when it comes out, or, you know, just puts out there. It doesn't matter which way they are facing, but it matters in where it is on the board. And that's because your spells that you're casting, you have to have runes in a certain section. You can see here that I need two F runes side by side and I get plus one acolyte. So um, during your turn, that is one of the things you can do. You, there are six things that you can do and those six things are draw a rune from the stack over here and one immediately replaces it. Draw a spell and add it to your spell book and one immediately replaces it. You can cast a rune onto the rune board, or you can cast one of your spells if the runes are in the proper configuration on the board. Or you can choose to clear the runes that are there, basically discarding all of them and then flipping out three more. Or you can clear all the spells that are on the board, discarding them and flipping out three more. Okay, well, let's show you a little bit about how this works uh, real quick before we get to the wrap up at the end. Let's say it's my turn. Um, I've got that spell. More acolytes are always good. So I will move one up right there to cast a rune from my hand. Let's see. I've got a, oh, I got another uh, another one of these F runes. So I have to make sure it's next to one of the other ones. And it doesn't matter if there were other runes in the other spots as long as these are in the orientation on the card. So next to each other. So I've cast my rune. So now I want to use my second Acolyte to go ahead and cast this spell. So when you cast it, it goes into the discard. So I get plus one Acolyte over here. Put it in the discards and take one of my, mine, not the opponent's Acolytes right here. And you immediately put it on the board and it's available to use. So now I don't have any spells. So let's go ahead and let's do this. And we'll go ahead and take this one right here, which uh, says if I have them in that configuration, uh, the R and the M, I will get plus one fortune. So put that, and I've got um, one more acolyte. I know I need an R rune for this spell. So let's go ahead and draw this rune. Oops, I forgot to turn out for last turn and turn out this for this rune. Now there are a bunch of different type of runes, but you should know that this one 
is um is Loki. There's a little chart in the on the player aid. This one is a uh, a all rune. You can use it as any rune that you want. Special rune. So that's uh, Blood Runes in a nutshell. Make sure you check it out on Kickstarter. The link is down below in the description. And we'll see you next time. Happy gaming.